Hey folks, you're joining me on this video as I've already started into a project using Descript. I kind of decided halfway through that maybe I should just record a bit of a screencast on how I'm using this because it might be beneficial for some of you out there who are curious about Descript and how well it works with save some video. They just added brand new today uh, as of this recording, October 21st, I think it is, uh, screen casting and screen flow editing style production to Descript. So you can use it for recording your screen and, and editing a video. You can also use it really well for editing a video. They have multi-track audio editing, other things. Uh, it's an app that's really cool for doing transcription of your podcast up until this point, And they're really making a big leap into video editing as well. And so I'm just editing a video of a recording I did just earlier today for an episode of Show Me Your Mic, my podcast about podcasting that I kind of sort of do sometimes. So join me as I finish off editing this and I'll try and talk you through what what's working, what's not. In this video, I've already got uh, a bit of bit of the way through, about halfway through the recording. I think it is. I had recorded a video using um, Ecamm Live actually to record a video. I'm trying out, uh, attempting to try out uh, live streaming my recordings of the episodes onto the YouTube channel and Twitch and stuff, and then making a video of that that I can then upload back to YouTube or wherever I want to do it. Um, but then also editing the podcast with Descript maybe as a way uh, while I'm editing the video at the same time so that I can sort of hit both at once. Um, I still like to edit my podcast in Logic Pro for audio fidelity, but uh, Descript certainly has some really nice features as far as being able to quickly edit things out. So one thing that I did already, I don't have the pro version. I have a whole bunch of transcription time here within Descript. I think you get two or three hours free when you on their free plan. Um, but I have a whole bunch from affiliate stuff that I've done over YouTube here. Uh, they have a tool in, uh, where is it here? File, edit, remove filler words. And on the free account, uh, I think I've already used it up. But anyways, it'll go through and find with the pro plan. Yeah, you can edit, automatically remove from your video or audio. Um, well, I mean, that kind of stuff that you throw in as filler words, and it'll just go through and delete them, and then you're done. You don't have to even go through and find it. Generally, it works pretty well. You might want to listen to it just to make sure that it actually works really well. Um, but there you go. That would have been removed <laughs> if I had run in this video through Descript. Um, but <laughs> now I can't stop doing it. The cool thing about working with Indescript while you're editing a video though, is you can get the visual of it obviously to the right here and then the, the actual words that I'm saying. So this transcribed it all for me. I didn't have to do anything. It took about 30 seconds to transcribe a 12 minute video, I think this is. And, and then basically I just hit tab. I'm in edit media mode. So I'm not necessarily changing the, the script of what's saying. Sometimes Descript doesn't necessarily pick up like a, if you're gonna use the transcription for a maybe a blog post, you could just take this and publish it as a blog post, which is great for SEO and or a transcription on your blog post or your podcast of your audio. Uh, but sometimes it doesn't pick up on like sentence structure properly, like a comma will be there where it shouldn't, or maybe a period and then it starts a new sentence, but you actually don't want it to. And you just have to do a bit of finessing of that if you want to, again, if you're wanting to publish this later. So what I'm going to do is hit uh, the tab is actually how they use what they use for uh, playback because I guess you'd need the space bar more often for typing text. Turn those into video files with appropriate animations and and or text on screen. So right there I've got and and I don't need both ands and I can actually just double click or highlight uh, and I'm probably get rid of both of these text on screen. I'm just gonna put the animations and and or text on animations or text I guess. I don't need and or animations or text. Let's just get rid of both. So now appropriate animations or text on screen. Of so you can see like the video obviously is a bit jerky. I'm e editing this mainly knowing that most folks are going to be listening, not watching it. Appropriate animations or text on screen. Of it's a little jerky in the audio too, but I'll let it slide this time. What's being said and share that back either to the person, the podcaster, and they can publish it wherever on their platform. So there again, I want, might want to either to the person, the podcast, I meant to say the podcaster. It's going to sound a little jerky because I s emphasize the podcaster in a way that doesn't probably doesn't sound natural yeah, either to the, the podcaster and they can. Yeah. Do. So it's a little goofy. Nice, nice uh, thumbnail there, Chris, it wherever on their platforms, or maybe you're hired as their social media person or, or do that in a volunteer. So there again, I can get rid of one of these ors if I wanted their social media person or do that in a volunteer capacity initially. So there it has some text that isn't actually there in a volunteer capacity. I don't need to delete it from the media, but I'm just from the script, right? So media person or do that in a volunteer capacity initially, only if the show can't afford it. Other, And this actually is 
part of this run on sentence. That's the one thing you'll notice is when you see yourself recorded or transcribed, a lot of what you do is, at least I do, is run on sentences. And it actually is a good reminder to like properly end a sentence and pause when there should be a comma, just to give your listeners a, or viewers a mental break. Just to like, okay, now I can stop. That sentence ended. And now this is the start of a new sentence. <laughs> it's very hard to do. Initially, only if the show can't afford it. Otherwise, if the show is making money. So there is a not period. Otherwise, if the show is making money, they should be. That should be a period, probably. If the show is making money, they should be paying you as well because you're helping them. Because is a great way to start a sentence, Chris. Because you're helping them make more money by bringing in more listeners with the marketing efforts you're doing. Or it could it also involve at maybe a higher level where the podcaster themselves, while they're recording, or maybe they take. This is probably podcasters. I kind of blur podcasters are themselves. It doesn't really make sense, but podcasters themselves while they're recording, or maybe they take a listen to a transcription or, or sorry, read a transcription or take a listen back to the episode after it's recorded and they highlight the best bits. They say, again, you don't need to do the grammar check and fixing if you're not planning to actually use this. I don't know if I'm going to, I'm just sort of showing you what's possible. They highlight the best bits. They say at, you know, two minutes, 30 seconds, please cut this part out where the guest says this and stop it around the 245 point. <laughs> That's something I do with podcasts on the audio. So you, actually, I, I was here already. I did some editing of this. Um, let's go here. Service of some sort, apps like Descript or Google Translate and things like that, or Google uh, Transcription, I mean. Those kind of services can use that. Uh, you can use that service to then make a, a video version of that. So, I mean, those kind of services can use that. Uh, you can use that service. Yeah, see, I can get rid of all of that. Because it's, you can use that service to then make a go back here. So I'm just I'm just clicking and then hitting tab. Or just manually. Oops. Clicking uh, transcription. I mean, you can use that service to then make a, a video version of that, or just manually transcribe it quickly if it's short enough clip. There again, don't really need to do this, but short enough clip, and throw it into services. Like there's tons of services that try and do this automatically for you for podcasters that they're using. I know. See, I didn't know what I was talking about here but I kind of need to leave it in for it to all make sense. That's why it's kind of just ran on sentence. It's good to hear. Podcasters that they're using, I know, and they're, they're paying for them. And so it's not that you should be defeated by that idea that it's all going to be automated. I think there's still a huge opportunity for, for handcrafted, I guess, if you will, manual. So I've got two fours opportunity for, for one's a fur, one's a four. Let's just get rid of the fur. See how it sounds. I think there's still a huge opportunity for handcrafted, I guess, if you will, manual human created videos off of podcasts. And I think as much as the services and the, the software, let's get rid of that. If I want to get rid of that space where there's no words, I can delete it. It kind of makes it a little folks who want to be able to hand it off to a person services, the podcast industry. So this is a little unintentional thing that I did, but actually in hindsight, it works really well. If you have some sort of uh, verbal cue for yourself, or if you're going to use something like Descript later, and you want to remember the pauses and just find them quickly, just say the same thing over each time, like taking a breath here, and then Descript will pick that up, and you'll be able to actually just delete that spot right away without having to hunt and hopefully remember where that is. So I'm just going to get rid of this entirely for them to their social media channels even. And finally, if you do start doing something with this, come talk to me because I might have some work for you <laughs> because it's something that I do get requests for from time to time and probably more of my clients. I'm not going to worry about the grammar anymore because I just want to get this done. Should be doing something like this if they are in the interest of, in the, if there is their goal. So there I can, if they're something doing like something like this, I think if I would get rid of all that, something like this, if there is their goal is to grow their podcast beyond just having fun doing the podcast, Likely they should be marketing themselves in some way and potentially if they have sponsorship already that they're paying to pay me, they might have money that I can funnel off to you to do this kind of work for them. So I know of at least a couple who have talked to me about it. It's not nothing firm, nothing. So there I've got an extra not me about it. It's nothing firm, nothing that I have right now. And I'd love to work with somebody who wants to get going in this. I don't really want to work with if you've got some web app to automate it all. That's not of any interest to me. I'm, I'm happy for you. I want you to succeed. But I want to work with people who also do what I do, which is not. So there's a bunch of mouth noises. Get rid of that. 
to do, which is not hand things off to machines to do it all, but actually get, ironically, I'm handing this off to a machine to do it. <laughs> get in there, edit, create, use the tools that we have to make, make it better, obviously, make it sound better, make it look better, help share it a little easier. But yeah, so that's a little pitch for that as well. And uh, if you, so I can get rid of that, yeah, if I want that little pause. And maybe even the butt. Don't need more butts. A little easier. So that's a little pitch for that as well. And uh, if you don't know where to find me, I'm iChris on Twitter. You can send me a DM on there. Or there's a pause that can get removed. So down here, I'm just removing pauses in this in a conversation. Okay. Or of course at lemonproductions.ca, there's a contact form on there if you have some longer forms to longer details you want to fill out. Some get rid of that. Some if you have. Some longer details you want to fill out, paragraph form or whatever, and uh, follow the link below to lemonaudio.club if you want. Below, I was doing this as a video. It's not actually a video. It's a podcast that's going out, audio podcast. I've been spending too many time, too much time watching. So I'll get rid of spending too much, too many time, which is not what I meant. I meant to say spending too much time. Get rid of some of that breath. Podcast, I've been spending too much time watching YouTube. A little awkward. You can hear that. <gasps> In there, I could. This is where, in logic, I would maybe finesse this a little bit more. But I've been spending too much time watching YouTube videos. I guess <laughs> leave a question in the comments below, but there is no comments. So, but yeah, lemon. Get rid of that. But yeah, comments. So, lemonaudio.club is where you can find out how you could join the uh, YouTube channel community. Did you know that I have a uh, YouTube ca channel community Discord that I'm go I'm starting? A few folks are in there already. Lemonaudio.club. That's how you join it that I'm trying to create in Discord. Okay, so that's the end of the podcast portion. That's where, this is where then I would hit music, edit. I'm going to go edit this in Logic Pro. Um, and then I have a bunch of stuff that I'm actually going to put in the video. I was going to put in the video. This is getting messy. I was going to put in the video for Lemon Audio Club people, but I'm just doing the video on ScreenFlow as a video for my YouTube channel. So um, I'm just going to delete this all right now. Maybe I can do it later. Great day. Bye. So then I can just actually export. And in this case, I'm going to just export audio because I'm going to take it to Logic and clean it up from there. I don't really want it to normalize. I could try that. See how it, how it looks. Anyways, that's a uh, basic look at the script. I won't go into more detail right now. That's probably long enough video. I'm not sure how long this is. I'll maybe edit it down a bit. Uh, but if you have questions about how to use Descript uh, or anything like that, feel free to throw those in the comments below, of course, and follow the link in there to check out Descript. They've got a free plan you can use to try it out to see if it works for you. And then, of course, paid plans, depending on how much you use, how much you might use of it and what your usage is. They've got a great multi-track editor for podcasters as well. I haven't really done too much with that. My head starts to break with a lot of multi-track stuff and Logic Pro really works for me, but it might work really good for you and what your use case is for it. And of course, like I said in the video earlier, check out lemonaudio.club if you want to join the YouTube community on Discord that I've created there to help us all figure out how to do audio and video stuff better on the Mac. Uh, the comments are great for that, but Discord allows us to go a little further and I'm going to open it up to start doing regular you know, monthly audio or video streams of just answering questions and showing off the interesting things that I come across. And that'll just be for the Discord folks uh, for now anyways. So thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.